In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I confess, Lord my God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Stir up your power, we pray, O Lord, and come, that with you to protect us, we may find rescue from the pressing dangers of our sins, and with you to set us free, we may be found worthy of salvation, who lives and reigns with you, who lives and reigns with God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. Zechariah 2 verses 14 to 17 Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day. And they shall be his people. And he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land. And he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence, all mankind, in the presence of the Lord. For he stirs forth from his holy dwelling. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God. Above all the women on earth. And blessed be the Lord God. The Creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise. From you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God. To a town of Galilee called Nazareth. To a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph. Of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace. The Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said. And pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. For you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son. And you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be? Since I have no relations with a man. 
And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come we pray to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right in us. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise, in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And a beautiful quote from St. Bernardine of Siena, he was a priest, he said, The last degree of love is when he gave himself to us to be our food because he gave himself to be united with us in every way. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy for this gift, we pray, by sitting down your spirit on the night of Newport, so that there may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord, my God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, <coughs> Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 When we pray, we ask, but it's also important that we pray for God's will to be done. So acceptance of God's will is always a great prayer. So let us pray for God's will to be done on earth as in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other sign of Christ's peace. Peace, Lord. Peace, Lord. Peace, Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech your Lord, that through our partaking of this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth, and hold firm to the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.